Happy New Year, guys. Yeah. It's not a weekly vlog, obviously. It's just a little something I wanted to, you know, like, uh, I wanted to kind of be a little bit more festive for the holidays. You know, every so often, we look into the New Year's. Oh, boy, I got a few hours before I got to go to work. <laughs> it's weird doing one of these before work. Um, but, yeah. You know, the future is, all, like, 2022 was very telling. We had a lot of laughs. We cried a little bit, you know. We had good memories as well as bad ones. And let's just say the the year ended with a bang, you know, to some extent. Uh, rather than recollect on the past because I have a bad enough memory to forget most of it, I wanted to just go ahead and take this time to just say, you know, here's to a better year. Here's to, you know, something good to look forward to. Every year, I tend to walk into the new year just upset that I didn't accomplish the things that I wanted to do last year. I always look back at all my failures and all the things that I messed up on. And I get myself so angry and upset about it because all I want to do is just be able to get the things I want by doing the things that I do. And sometimes I just had to come to grips with a long lesson that it's not always going to be up to me. I'm going to try my best not to do that, do less of that this year. Because while my last year was not exactly as fun as I wanted it to be, I spent most of it working. I, uh, I managed to stay loyal to a routine. And I wake up every morning, I do a little Mimo lesson, a couple of languages on Duolingo. You know, try to learn a I try to learn a couple of new words in sign language. Uh, me and my girlfriend have managed to stay together for a long time. I'm finally getting comfortable with saying the words my girlfriend. For a long time, I just haven't been. It's not fair to her. She's been there for me a lot. I'm starting to get the hang of trying to understand where I am and trying to see specifically, you know, how I can move forward. Because no lie, man, no matter how happy I get, I'm, I, I'm coming to grips with the fact that I'm going to always be a little sad. You know, I'm always going to be holding on to the past because for me, it's protection from any bad things that might happen to me in the future. Because I can always say, okay, this happened to me in the past, so avoid this in the future. Or this happened to me in the past, so respond to it this way in the future. And uh, But the memory of what happened to me in the past is going to always be so powerful that now, even when something isn't happening, something is just going to pop up and be like, hey, remember when? No. I ran off a lot of friends because of stuff like that. But we get a chance to look towards the new year as another opportunity to kind of better ourselves and be happier. Not necessarily be happier, but at least better ourselves and look towards improvements. Uh, you know, we're going to have a lot of slips and falls along the way. Things are going to go wrong. You got to prepare for that. But things going wrong is not the end of the world. And I guess I need to tell myself this a lot more. Like Things are going to go wrong. Mistakes are going to happen. But it's not the end of the world. As long as you draw breath, you have an opportunity to change things for the better. It's simply a matter of finding out how to do it. And then doing it. And even if you can't fix the problem. Even if you can't solve the issue that you have. You know, you did everything in your power and things still went wrong. You can always say you did what you needed to do to fix everything. 
You did your part. That's all you can do. This is a chance to... This is not just a new year. It's a... It's a... 365 new chances. Matter of fact... I think I'm going to start saying... Happy New Day. For me. If... Happy New Day, right? The power of positivity! I guess this was just more of a message for myself. Happy New Year. And even when it isn't, make it a Happy New Year.